So we're gonna check out a few knives that I never would have thought I'd like as much as I do. So when I go online and I see knives, you know, there's some knives that I look at and I just, in my head, I'm like, you know, it's not my style. You know, I just, I'm not attracted to it. It doesn't look good. And I can't imagine it being very good. But then I get them in hand. I get them in hand and everything changes. Like the Petrified Fish Havrog, that is definitely one I never would have thought that it would be as good as it is. This knife is absolutely amazing. Um, and it's actually a pretty good price. K110 steel, they have all different color micartas and the micarta's decent quality micarta, titanium mill pocket clip and a micarta backspacer steel liners for right around 50 bucks, 50, 55 bucks not too shabby. Then you couple these thumb studs, which are, you look at them and you're like, they look weird kind of, but then you use them and you realize it is one of the most functional and comfortable thumb stud um, deployments that you can ever find. I mean, you can go from the bottom, you can go from the side, you can reverse flick from the front, you can reverse flick from the bottom. Like it's just, it's so, so fidgety, friendly and comfortable. Like, and the, like I said, you know, looking at it, I wouldn't have realized just like how effective these thumb studs would be until you get them in hand. And then you realize, oh, they're made to be used at any angle. And that's why they're that shape and that look. So yeah, this is definitely one that has massively impressed me. And then the, the, you know, the use is actually really good. The, the ergonomics with the blade shape, this thing is so comfortable in the hand. You can actually bear down on this thing. You can use it as a utility cutter, fantastic access to the lock bar, stupid smooth. Like there's knives five times the amount of money as this knife with and that, that are not as smooth as this. This thing is extra, shockingly smooth. So yeah, that's definitely one. Now the next one is another one. You know, when I just look at it, I think it's ugly. Now, luckily for me, I had the privilege of trying the big one, which was the, Kaus the Tauser K. So the Kaiser Tauser K. And I loved it. And that's another one. It's shockingly good. Like you look at it and you're like, well, you know, how good could it be? Then you get it in hand and you're like, oh, wow, that's one of the best detents I've ever felt. Like it's such a crispy, clean, breaking detent. And then the multi-row ceramic cage bearings make it an absolute guillotine. And then, so I got to try the big one and the medium sized one, but when the little one came out, I just couldn't help but look at it and say, yeah, there's no way that's gonna be very good. Then, to my surprise, get it in hand and it has all the same qualities as the big one. All the same qualities from the ridiculously smooth guillotine action to the crispy, clean, breaking detent of the thumb studs that are so satisfying. It's so satisfying to flick this knife. Great access to the lock bar, just smoothness on another level. This is some of the best thumb stud action you can experience on a knife. And it's very comfortable in the hand. Another thing you wouldn't really think. Um, granted, it's not gonna be the most useful knife design of all knives, but for 99% of everything that most people use their knife for, this knife will work just fine for it. You can do utility cuts, you can definitely break down a box if you need to. The pinch grip's gonna be great. So yeah, the Towser S is definitely one that surprised me on how good it was. Next is the Best Tech B High. So this is one that I can look at it and say, yeah, that's gonna that's a useful blade shape, you know. But you know, just looking at it, like I wouldn't have put it together. I mean, I guess I can kind of put it together, you know, because I can look at this and say it has the potential to be really good. But then you, when you get it in hand though, and you actually start using it, like not, I don't mean just getting it in hand and fidgeting with it. I'm talking about actually using it as a tool. You realize this thing is an absolute monster. This little hawkbill blade, it's kind of like having a tiger's claw. You can literally just, when you're opening things up, the precision you have, and then it's such a small compact knife, the maneuverability you have with it is so amazing. You can actually get a full four finger grip if you, actually, if you really need to. So if you did need to actually make a long cut, 
you can easily do that with this. But the primary cutting is going to be with that tip. And it is very, very effective. You have a front flipper that's very easy to fidget with. So even if you're not really good at front flippers, this is one that should be relatively easy for everybody. You can technically reverse flick this one. It's packed in there, you know, so it's a little tight, but you can absolutely get it. Um, but this one, like I said, this is all about the use on this one, man. When you really get this thing out and you start opening things up and actually using it as a little tool, <laughs> you realize just how effective a little hawk bill is, you know, so. Yeah, the B high is definitely one I would never would have thought I would like as much as I do. Next is the Civivi Clavi. This is one, you know, I can look at now and see why it's so good, you know, but I never would have thought it had been as good as it actually is. I labeled this knife one of the most useful knives because, you know, if you consider the 99% of things that we use knives for, this thing excels. When you're talking about opening a package or opening something up or tracing something out or any sort of precision work, this thing, is, it's so effortless to use this. Then because of its very slim, lightweight, neutral ergos, you can maneuver this thing around, you know, to any direction and it work effectively. Like if I need to cut a rope, very easy. If I need to break down, a, you know, a box or something, you know, it, it's nice and comfortable. Granted, it's slim. It's not a hard use knife or anything, but when we're talking about just cutting tasks, this thing is a amazing and like i said the control you have over it it almost feels like it's part of you um i love it i absolutely love it the civivi clavi is definitely one i recommend for anybody working in an office or anything like that you know it doesn't really matter where you work but i'm just saying like that this thing is a uh a glorified letter opener <laughs> on steroids. It is, it is fantastic. And just as a, an EDC knife, man, this thing is awesome. Next, I actually have a, a couple from the same designer. This is the Caval Knives uh, Denka. Yeah, I think, yeah, the Denka. And another one, I would have never thought that I would love this knife as much as I do, or that it would be as fidgety or as fun as it is. It is, it's kind of like having just like one of those little uh, fidget toys in your hand, except for it's a knife. That's the way this thing is. It is so fun to sit here and, and flick and yeah, and it's really good. And you can just listen to the detent and all the sounds. It has really, in my opinion, it has really cool sounds. Um, it does have a brushed titanium, brushed titanium scales with a Timascus backspacer and thumb disc, thumb uh, plate, <laughs> square disc, um, if that makes sense. Um, it is, yeah, it's really, really good. Like I said, it, it's, I'm not gonna speak about it too long. Be, you know, there's not a lot to talk about. It has M390 steel. It is expensive. It is a little compact knife. It's very unique. You know, it does come in premium materials. There's no clip. So, you know, you do want to use a little sheath. I've been using this little Jack Wolf knives one. This one, at least in my collection, is the one that fits the best. Um, these are pretty cool because they come with the clips. So you can put it in your pocket and then you don't have to take this whole thing out to get the knife out. You just grab the knife and pull it out. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, Awesome, awesome little knife. Now, speaking of Teguas, who is the knife designer, we also have the Teguas Zetsu. So the Zetsu is by CMB. So we have the CMB made knives, Zetsu. Another one, absolutely way, way better than I ever could have imagined. Um, not just as far as fit, finish, action, not, because that is definitely a huge factor. This thing is so crispy. The action is so damn good, but the actual knife itself, it has such a wicked looking blade, you just don't see this being super useful. But even though it does Persian up, look at how low this tip is compared to the center of the pivot. It is very low. So to use this tip is like nothing. You can use it backwards because it's so pokey. Now it does have thick geometry, which actually kind of benefits it because if you were gonna poke it into something, it's actually gonna hold some strength throughout, you know, all the way out to the tip. So you can use it for precision 
And, you know, if you needed to jam it into something, you know, how it's kind of intended, you know, you can do that. I can reverse flick it, but I wouldn't say most people are gonna be able to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a unique looking knife for sure. It definitely has a, an aggressive look to it, but the, I appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. M390 steel, titanium bolster lock, titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer, good access to the lock bar, redonkulously smooth. Um, you know, there is different versions as well. So, you know, there's different uh, overlay options or, you know, inlay options. This one's obviously the copper carbon fiber, but there's different ones. If this isn't your cup of tea, but ergonomically, it's good. Pokey pokey, it's great. It's not going to be a good cutter. So I just want to say that it's not a slicer, but it's not really meant for that. So I'm not mad at it for not doing something it's not really meant for, but it is, it'll still do it too. So it's not like it can't cut. It obviously can cut just fine, but it's not going to be something you're going to grab to, to break down your cardboard every day. Um, the next one, which is the Kawanagari. Ah, man, this is one, just looking at it, I would never think that this is so, as good as it is. Not only the build quality, because that is just one part of it, but how useful this thing is. This thing is so useful. This, just this little curve right here. You don't, this, this little curve, it just pops into things. You can literally just like, like pop it into something and, and go right, cut right down. It's like having literally a tiger's claw. You know, you just tiger claw into something and yank and it does the business. Um, so it makes it to where it is so useful for the majority of things. And people look at it like, oh man, I'd hate to sharpen it. It's like, yeah, but if you're just using it for light duty, you're not gonna have to sharpen it very often. And, you know, get a round stone, hone it often, you know, hone it every couple months or something. You know, you can keep it going for a long time. You know, don't use it to sit there and break down your boxes every day or your recycling every day. But as far as just making a cut here and there, this thing will go for a long time before it needs to be sharpened. You know, it has M390 steel. It's, you know, pretty thick, but, you know, you can kind of expect that. Uh, but because it has these double recurves, if you do want to slice with it, it actually slices really, really good. Um, it is a titanium frame lock with the inlay. There is different options, different color options. Titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer. Very fidgety, fantastic front flipping action. And like I said, the build quality is phenomenal. But where this thing really excels is when you start using it, if you actually use it. Obviously, it could just be a collector's piece, just something really cool in the collection. And I respect that. But if you do take it out and use it, I think you'd be surprised how damn good a double recurve blade is, a crisp blade shape. Anyways, work hard, stay tough. You know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.